Hi guys. So today I'm going to be doing a elf haul review. And um, just what that means is the elf haul that I did um, for my birthday, the second video, um, I'm just going to be doing, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the products which I um, ordered. And I just wanted you guys to actually be able to um, like get my opinion on how I feel the product works out, if it works out or not. And it, I just feel like it's only right for if I showed you a product, I should probably review it. Um, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and take you guys through this very quickly because I already did this video once and it went on way too long. So I'm just going to kind of speed it up. Right, so the first thing that I want to show you guys is um, the Beauty Encyclopedia in Sparkle Eye Edition. And um, this is something I wouldn't highly recommend. I would not um, recommend this like too much at all. And um, the pigmentation seems very nice. But it doesn't pick up well on brushes. It doesn't pick up well on brushes. And unless you're going to apply it with your finger, that's the only way I would recommend it. Um, not even with like a little, well, maybe with a sponge applicator, it will work out for you. Um, but in my opinion, I personally, that's why I haven't even done a look on this. Because I've gotten like a bunch of requests um, to do a look on this. But I just don't feel like the quality is right for me to do a tutorial on this because then I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression and be like oh well I'm gonna go and get it it was only five dollars yes but I just don't feel like it, it's too good you know like it's just kind of like crummy and um, wait that looks like the wrong color because I had a different color but yeah I mean it looks like it goes on well but you see like I just swiped it off and it leaves like a little weird sparkle streak and it kind of does that with most of the light sparkly colors um i have used the black but mm, uh, i wouldn't really recommend it too much um if you want to try it for yourself go ahead and do so it's only five dollars um okay so the next thing that i wanted to show you guys is um the elf um lip glosses and tubes which is the super glossy lip shine and i completely love these colors and I love the lip gloss and I plan on getting every single color that they have um, in these little lip gloss tubes because I love them and the thing about these lip gloss tubes is you can just carry it around your purse very nicely or in your pocket I actually keep um, the goddess one this one right here in my um, coat pocket and if you can see how it's already emptying out and I got it about like, two weeks ago I think and this one right here is still going strong the thing about this one I just keep it in my vanity and that's why I don't use it as much but when I'm out and about I keep applying that one okay so yes these are very very nice oh and the colors of these um, this one is goddess and this one is pink kiss and I love love these colors and I think yeah, the reason why I like the goddess so much is because it kind of complements my skin tone very nicely Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to show you, so yes, I, I highly recommend those. If you guys want some cheap lip gloss that is amazing and um, it has, it moisturizes at the same time, like the minute you put it on, your lips feel completely moisturized. They, it, I mean, they are a bit sticky, like they do get a little tiny sticky, um, but it's not like a huge, like sticky mess at all. Um, I can definitely deal with it. It's not that big of a deal. I would recommend them like I said okay so the next thing that I wanted to show you guys is three brushes that I don't recommend too much I can't really talk too much smack on them because I use them either way I use them anyway so I guess it's not that bad so yes um the reason why I don't recommend these way too much is because they are a little rough this is the softest one amongst the three and then I have a little feather brush. I'm mean, not the feather brush. This is the fan brush, and this they are, these were all a dollar each. This is the fan brush. This is a total face brush, and this one right here is the bronzing brush. The bronzing brush, which I use for my um, mascara, not mascara, wow, which I use for my blush and bronzing here and there when I do use it, is a little hard. And if you have really sensitive skin on your face, <coughs> sorry, like me, um, this is probably going to be. A little iffy for you like it is for me I did apply my blush with this but um so like I said it's not bad enough for me to throw them out but 
um, I'm just giving you guys a, like a, a insight on it so if you like super super soft brushes and you can't stand like a little roughness in a brush definitely don't get these um, but they are a dollar if you want to try it out go ahead and try it out for yourself all right so the total face brush is the softest one of the three but it does have like a little a little roughness to it um, I definitely use that though um, I don't have like a huge problem with it and this I actually use to um, wipe like sweep away a little fall off um, and to apply like a uh, very natural feathered blush so it works out for that this one's actually not as hard um, on the face but when you feel it on your hand for some reason it feels a little scratchy but on the face is not as bad but yes this one is the one that I would really kind of probably stay away from probably get the one from the studio line which is three dollars versus one dollar okay so the next thing that I want to show you guys is all of these which I highly highly recommend and this one is the sponge um, the smudge sponge brush or just sponge smudge eye sponge and this one is the angled brush yeah the defining defining eye brush they call it and this one right here is the eyeshadow brush this one is the little tiny tiny concealer brush if you can see how tiny it is it's very good for little tiny blemishes though um, this one right here so yeah I, I would have bought if I would buy this one again because it works even as, as a lip brush if you wanted to use it as a lip brush alright so this one right here is the blending brush which is my favorite amongst all of them probably when well, no, I actually have three favorites which is this one right here the eyeshadow brush and um, the studio line C brush which I'll show you in a second so yes this one is very 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 good um, I love the, the way it blends it just it works very very nice and then this is the foundation brush which I don't even apply too much foundation so I've been using it as my concealer brush from underneath my eyes um, yes but it, I have tried it with foundation and it's not streaky or anything it works out very nice and these were each a dollar so in all these were six dollars for um, these six brushes so I would highly recommend these these are very very good and if you guys need like a little starter brush kit or you just want to do a gift or if you guys want it for yourself um, like I gave a gift to myself and I bought these to check them out and they're actually very nice oh and they're actually not like white white they're actually well yeah they're white but it has like a little pearl finish which is kind of cute too and then these two which I would highly recommend also from the studio line and I think the next time I go ahead and apply and buy like a total face brush or something I'm gonna go ahead and apply it from this and buy it from the studio line instead um, so yes this dip this is the stipple brush and I love it and this is the um, eyeshadow C brush and it works very nice for like smoky eyes which I completely love and it's very very soft and this picks up pigments and shadows so nicely that you would be so amazed that it costs three dollars and I just love how um, like these are the other ones are actually a little thinner than these these are like hold so well you can hold these so well and it's like a very nice um, length um, and they just feel very very professional and these are only three dollars each from the studio line the stipple brush I use to apply my my blush and I love it I would highly recommend it okay and then I have the um, kabuki brush the kabuki face brush also and I keep it in my box because it's just so so soft that I feel like it picks up dust and I rather it not do that <laughs> so I keep it in my little box and in the little box and the box is really cute so it doesn't look bad on my vanity alright so that's what it looks like and this is amazingly soft and if I go into this again, like, because I, I have talked about it again, but um, I can talk about this for ever. But it's super, super soft, and it has an airbrush finish to it. So this is amazing. And this one was actually five dollars from their studio line, and I would highly recommend this. If you don't have a kabuki brush, go for this one. If you have a kabuki brush, still go for this one. I have other kabuki brushes, and this is the softest kabuki brush that I have ever felt. And it's a very nice size. See, it's a very nice size, not teeny. So yes, I completely love it. 
<laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I would highly recommend it. And if you guys want it, go ahead and get it. It's five dollars, and um, you guys should actually um, think about looking up Elf coupon codes or yeah of cosmetic coupon codes and you guys will find like a bunch of um, codes even 50% off codes hey guys so that's it and I don't want to just keep on rambling about this so like I said I would definitely recommend their products because they have some amazing quality products and their prices are very very good and um, so yes guys so thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed you know what to do it's right up here don't forget to subscribe bye